Create React app is being deprecated, so what's a good replacement if you just want to build simple React apps or single-page applications? Well, your friends at Tanstack have you covered. Now, instead of saying create React app on the command line, you can instead say create TS router app, and you'll get exactly the same starting point as before, but with Vite and Tanstack under the hood, it's awesome stuff. Let's take a look. So here's a really good blog post on the React blog talking about why Create React App is being deprecated. Of course, there's a link to that inscription right down below if you want to read it for yourself. The underlying subtext is that while Create React App was really good for building simple applications or bootstrapping spas, it's kind of an architectural dead end if you wanted to go much further beyond that. So before we take a look at what's next, let's take a look at what Create React App is now to re-familiarize ourselves with it for you. You might not have seen it in a little while. So I'm going to use PMPX and Create React App and create my CRA app. Then I'll jump in there with my editor. Now I'll start that application up using pmpm start. And now I've got our editor and our application side by side, and I can go and make changes to that app.js file and they'll appear immediately. Yay. So you can see why create React app is the way that I and so many other folks learned to build on React. It is a fantastic way just to start an application and start trying it out. So now let's take a look at our Tanstack replacement. So back in my terminal, instead of create React app, I'll do create TS router app. And I'll say my CTA app. Now everything's set up. I can bring that up in my editor. I'll go into my terminal, do pmpm start just like before. Now I've got exactly the same things in terms of an application starting point, but you've got Vite and Tansec router underneath the hood and making changes is just as easy as it was before. I go into my app, learning Tansec on CTA. Hit save, and you get live reloading, and everything's great. So what we have with CRA in this new Create TS Router app, or CTA, is the ability to create simple applications and to do PMPM build and do static deployments. So where do you go next with Create React app when you're going to go and build out a larger spa level application is to go and build in routes. Now, to do that, you might bring in React Router or Tanstack Router. Great thing here is you already have that built in. Because it's built on top of Tanstack Router, code level routing is already set up. So if I want to go and build an about route, I just go into main over here, scroll down to where I'm defining my routes. I'll copy and paste that. I'll create the about route. My path is going to be about, and I'm going to give myself a simple about route, and then I'll simply add that to the list of routing children. I'll go back to my app and then go to about. And now I've got my about route. So easy. Now, in order to progress on from code level routing with CRA to get into file-based routing or API endpoints or server-side routing or static site generation, you'd have to eject from CRA, which means you're essentially in the DIY land of creating your own framework, which is what the React team wanted you to avoid. But with this CTA command line application, building a file-based routing TAN stack and Vite application is as simple as just changing the template. We'll go back to my terminal, and this time I'll create my CTA FR or file routing application, and I'll use as a template file router. Now my file routing application, I again do pmpm start, and I'm back to that same familiar starting point, but this time with the file router underneath the hood. So in order to edit this file this time, I'm gonna go to source, routes, and then index. That's my home page, and I can make the change, hit save, and I'll get the live reloading. And making a new route is as simple as simply adding a file, hitting save, and then jumping to that new route. That is so cool. Now, this is still a single page application that can be statically deployed. You just happen to define the routes all with files instead of with code. And you get bundle splitting baked right in. But where do you go from here? Well, let's say that you want to add API routes and server functions to get your data, server side rendering, static site generation, and more. Well, for that, you're going to use Tanstack Start when it's released. And the great thing is that if you're already on the file router, all you've got to do is add a single dependency and a couple of files, and you've got server-side rendering, API routes, and all the rest. So you're not at any architectural dead end anywhere along this line. Let me go back to the code, and I'll show you a few more things. If we look over here at the readme, this is an extensive readme that goes into how to use this system. For testing, you've got VI test, which couples with V really nicely, and that's built right in. For styling, this particular project uses CSS for styling, but... If I go back to the console and I just add on the Tailwind argument when I initialize my application, I get Tailwind instead of the built-in CSS. 
You get a lot of information that you need about routing, how to add a route, how to add links between routes, how to add a layout by adjusting the root route, and then some advice around data fetching. Now, when it comes to data fetching, Tansec Router supports the very popular loader model, which allows you to add a loader function to your route. And then inside of your component, you simply use that loader data and it's guaranteed to be there. This means that as your customer navigates from page to page in your site using those links, that the loader will get called before your route is rendered. That means you're not going to get any, any empty pages that have that annoying flash of content when the data comes up. Of course, you can always use the ever popular React query and there's full documentation right there in the readme on how to set it up. And if you're looking for a simple but robust state management solution, Tan Stack Store is right there, right in the readme. All you need to do is install it. You create your stores and away you go. All the information you need is right there in the readme with a link to the Tanstack store documentation. All right, there you go. Create TS router app. It is a very smooth way to transition out of using CRA to build simple React apps and spas into something that's got a much better platform for the future and for your application. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to put that in the comment section right down below. I'd love to hear it. In the meantime, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and click on that bell. And you'll be notified the next time a new Blue Collar Coder comes out.